Hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of how to connect MS Access database. And let me show you guys how this works. In here we have the information of Casey Jonathan. So let's if we click on here we can view someone else details and that is Alan Parker. Okay, let's assume we want to search. You see, as soon as my mouse is there, what happened is the search information disappears. So let's bring it back. So I'm going to search for invalid data. Record not found. And there's nothing here. So let's assume. Let's assume we have the following details. Click on search. And that is supposed to be grace stonehead one other thing that we can do is we can add new data okay and in here let's add new individual there and let's assume the name is Tony Montana and here address that is 17 little Venice postcode telephone number there. All we then need to do is just to click on this add button. Record saved successfully. Click on OK. There we go. That is Tony Montana's details there. And we can also go straight to the database and check if Tony Montana's details is there. Let's see. There we go. That's Tony Montana's details right there. Okay, let's minimize that. Now, the other thing that we can do is, if you notice inside the database, have a good look at that, Tony Montana's details, and now we're going to modify the ID. So let's change that to something like 999 and click on update. There we go. And let's check that out here. So Tony Montana, that is it right here, it's now 999. Let's check our database. And there we go, it is now 999 on the database. Now, the other thing that we can do, we can also delete whatever record we want to delete. Okay, let's assume we want to get rid of um, Johnny. Yeah, want to get rid of Johnny Gambino, just click on that. There, Johnny Gambino is gone. And the other thing is we can also print out all of this information. Just click on print and there we go. And you click on the print button there. Okay. And that is it. You just click on the print there. Just for your information guys, this is just an overview. And the full tutorial will be made available shortly.